Hey guys, it's me, Ashley. Um, I think today I just want to discuss forgiveness. And I really just want to talk about if you're forgiving yourself and or forgiving others for different things. I know that sometimes the words that we say, how they're portrayed, or even sometimes where we're at in life can really take a toll. And it can take a toll of understanding what's happening and what's going on. And as someone who's lost kids, who's, you know, said things before, it, it can be hard to actually forgive yourself. And so I just want to ask, and maybe comment below, or shoot a comment in, in the blog or whatever, but what are ways that you've actually taken to forgive yourself? Because what's happened to you with the loss of your children, what's happened to you with any sort of loss, it's not your fault. You couldn't have done anything. Even if you would have thought that something you could have stopped, it's just not not something you could have stopped. And so how do you truly forgive yourself? What have you been doing to forgive yourself? Because ultimately, we all need forgiveness. And I know God tells us time and time again to forgive others and that He forgives us. And, and so we need to really take that time to forgive ourselves, to understand that we're not perfect, that we mess up. And sometimes we mess up and it causes a lot of insecurities, uh, resentment, um, hurt. And if we don't sit and not just forgive the people who've hurt us, but also forgive ourselves for any hurt that we've caused other people, any hurt that we think that we've done, or even just blaming ourselves and stopping and forgiving ourselves for that, we're going to be stuck in this cycle of, of hurt and despair and anger and so many awful emotions that we don't need to stay in. And so, I guess on top of that, I'd like to know how you are forgiving other people for the hurtful words they said, for things they don't understand, for, for them just being able to attempt to help you. And I know that each circumstance is different, each person is different. But in, in the time of forgiveness, in the time of love, what are we doing with that? And how are we doing that? Forgiveness is an emotion, but it's also something that we don't need to we, we don't need to hold on to that resentment and that hurt and that power and that anger and, and it's things that we don't need to really don't really need to keep on. And so I just really want to ask you for you to comment below and to really think about think about it for yourself and for others. How do you truly forgive yourself for for losing a child that you had no control over? How do you forgive yourself for feeling all the feelings and people being uncomfortable? How do you forgive yourself for knowing that you did everything in your power to not have this happen and yet it still did? And how do you forgive others who have said hurtful and mean things and who continue to do that and who continue to maybe disappoint you even years after and yet we are to call we are called to constantly forgive so uh, comment below um, and just let me know how you guys are dealing with this thank you